all right guys so i have a theory so you know how they're like the, you know in the drag ball series they always talk about the sands and how they talk about how everything relates and you know the namekians and stuff right so and how the namekians create the dragon balls right and the the namekian dragon balls the the normal dragon balls and if you count gt the black star dragon balls and the super dragon balls which no one knows if a namekian created them which i believe a namekian could possibly create them this is my theory so if do you think it's possible that the Namekian God Destruction created the Super drag, super Dragon Balls. Like, think about it. Like, a Namekian has created the Dragon Balls for a long time. Like, the Guru, the Elder, like, every Namekian, and I'm not including Cell, well, he counts as one, but he's about Android, which I, let's, let's get, let's get through this. Mechala, Pekala, is still considered the nameless Mechian, but he's still called Pekko, which the nameless Mechian kind of diffused with his evil half, which became Kami, and which was King Pekko, which is Pekko's father. So, if we're talking about the first Mechian, like the first god of destruction, that's the Mechian, right? Could be possible that this Mechian could be a god of destruction. But no one knows where he is. Like I forget his name, but I remember them talking about uh, someone. Uh, Zamas was talking to these weird guys, these weird fat alien guys who are like at the edge of the universe, and they're talking about this guy who created the Super Dragon Balls. Do you think he could be a Namekian god of destruction? Because we all know that gods of destruction are deities, and the fact that they they have angels with them, but could it be possible that every single Namekian. Like, could create something powerful. Like, for Kami, for instance, he was called God because, well, his power, he was like powerful during the Dragon Ball. And during Z, Peklo and Kami were probably, Peklo was stronger than Kami. Or, I mean, Kami was like not strong enough. I don't know. Depending on, you know, power levels or crap like that. But anyway, let's not get to power levels. I'm saying is, could a Namekian God Destruction still exist? Just watching the Namekians of each universe, like for instance, the two Namekians from Universe Six, right? They fuse with those two, fuse with every Namekian, like every Namekian in their universe. And there's only two Namekians, which is weird. And I like the idea of having and Peklo and Peklo in Universe Seven. There's a whole bunch of them in Universe Seven. Like there's like a weird, like weird area, like if. Pekolo and if Pekolo's if there's supposed to be a, someone who created the Dragon Balls, would that said person be the reason there's the Super Dragon Balls, and could he be the first ever Namekian God of Destruction? Like think about it, Pekolo doesn't know or anyone probably Beerus, maybe Beerus knows he doesn't talk about it because he was probably he was probably staying hidden or not. We don't know if he's a God of Destruction of like one of the universes that were erased. Or not, we don't know. All we rarely hear about him. That's the. That's like weird. Like if if there was supposed to be, if there was someone who, well, they never said he was in the Mechian, but people assume he's in the Mechian, or maybe he's something a part of a different race. But let's start, let's be specific here. If there was said a Namekian god of destruction, maybe he's like a fusion of. Uh, maybe he's like more powerful than a Namekian fusion, Namekian fused with all other Namekians. Like, think about it. Like, each of these Namekians, including the non canon ones, like Lord Slug. Let's not talk about canon and non canon crap, okay? <clears throat> this is all opinions and uh, specifics. Lord Slug is technically the other, uh, the Grand Elder, which I'm kind of confused about. But let's. <sighs> Anyways, the thing is that it might be possible for the making God destruction to exist unless unless he's staying hidden somewhere outside of every universe. Which means he probably wasn't erased during the universe erasion like the other six universes. And after the other six universes are brought back, do you wonder if other gods are brought back depending on the race like an Earthling or Namekian? 
Who knows? Maybe the, the next universe has the strongest Namekian struggling the other guy's destruction at Beerus' level, and they'll go toe to toe. Like, I was thinking about, like, Broku 76. Broku 76, a shout out to the channel. Broku 76 was talking about how there was a, there has to be a Saiyan God destruction on his reaction to, like, you know, it's talking about how the Saiyan God destruction's reaction was to, like, you know, Beerus laying the Saiyans, like, you know, laying Frieza destroy the Saiyans. And I wonder what would the Saiyan God Destruction's reaction be for not for for Beerus not stopping Frieza from destroying Planet Namek. Now, sure, it was brought back, but if you think about it, the Nameki God Destruction reaction would be pretty pissed. Like more pissed than the Saiyan God Destruction. Like if there is a Saiyan God Destruction somewhere in the universe, and no, it's not fan service. You can think it, but it's not. It's depending. I'm just saying is that, well, mainly, the, if there was an Namekian God Destruction, he would be pissed. Like, he will be pissed at the fact that Pekula, I mean, Beerus, of all the gods of destruction, Beerus never once stopped Frieza from destroying planet Vegeta. Like, think about it. Like, he never... I mean, plant dynamic. Sorry, sorry. I can't think of this up. But anyway, I'm saying it, it makes no sense. Like, I don't blame him. So, I mean, he probably doesn't care because he's a god of He has his own business to do. But still, he literally, like, on the making god of destruction, would be pissed off at Beerus for letting one of his creations, if he create, if he helped, you know, create the Namekians, just depending on if he did. Like, like, like how King Peccolo did, but probably, like, with, with like, mini energy balls that, like, you know, like, I don't know how logic works. I'm just saying what I think. But these two Namekians right here that I'm talking about, those two that Piccolo fought at Turn of Power, they don't seem very powerful, and they don't know, no one knows if there is a Namekian God of Destruction or not. Like, if you think about it, like, Piccolo is like Namekians and Saiyans and other races like that are really powerful, including Namekians. Like, they have more potential, and they're more power. They, they can surpass the Saiyan. Like, Oh, why am I talking about surprising things? I'm trying to stop playing. What I'm trying to say is, is the fact that mainly Namekians, no one knows if there is a Namekian god of destruction. Like, if we think about it, like, there's always this, there's always this, like, description, like, that description is what people assume, and it's not my art design, I'm just looking through images. What I'm saying is, it's possible that there are specific Namekians under level, like, for instance, Pekalo, for instance. Namekians have special abilities, like, for instance, turning into giants, like, and fusing with other Namekians. And I'm pretty sure that will increase the strength of a giant's strength and control and stamina and stuff like that. But let's be specific. I'm pretty sure our Namekian God of Destruction will have a god, like, golden transmission, looks similar to, like, have, like, similar features to it, like, a blue skin, similar to Super Saiyan Blue, or... Uh, a little bit of red skin. I made my own god of social on Zebras 2, but that's not canon and stuff like that. No, it's canon Zebras 2 to canon series, but seriously though. Mainly, I'm talking about how a Namekian god of social could exist or not, because no one knows. Like, if there was, Beerus could have mentioned him. Him, him. They could have mentioned the fact that there used to be a Namekian god of destruction years ago. But he, he could have said that he was the reason he created the Super Dragon Balls and he disappeared years ago and Beerus doesn't know, but that would make sense. Like, or he could have said that he was erased with the other universe after creating the Super Dragon Balls. Maybe that's what happened to him, but no one knows. Heck, I don't know. I'm just spitballing my, my, my prescription, like, of what would happen to the original Not Making God Destruction if there was... Why am I... Plus wrong words. I'm trying to say is that it's possible that. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that it's possible for an Omekian God structure to exist if we don't know where it, if we know where he is, or if there's like a, a clip of him, a green Namekian wearing similar clothing to the Beerus, but with a different symbol on, in, in the middle of it. Like, that would be a good way to find out if there really was. Like, it's pretty weird, like, we rarely hear about them. There, there was, like, though, the Grand, the King Peccolo, Nail, and the Grand Elder. That is the Namekians we know about, and Peccolo, and other Namekians that protected Namek. Like, think about it, like, 
there were so many Namekians we really know about. Like, we really know about Namekian history. All we know is that the Grand Elder saved, like, people on his planet from some called the Great Drought or something. I think that was called, or something for gang stuff, Team Four Star, maybe. I don't know. What I'm saying is, like, it's possible that the Grand Elder, a new Grand Elder, after the next, after the second one, might know a prophecy of a Namekian God of Destruction, or the similar to the Super Saiyan God called a Namekian God, and that would be Peklo, where five or maybe seven pure hearted, seven Namekians fuse with Peklo, maybe it's something similar to the Super Saiyan God transformation, but a little bit completely different, like, it, it, it takes more than, more than like six Namekians. Like how, you know, how they're simple to that. But I'm talking about how there are always prophecies of a Super Saiyan God, yet we rarely hear a prophecy about Namekians. Like, isn't that ironic? Like, we hear prophecies of the Namekians, right? We hear prophecies, but we don't hear any other prophecies of other races, like Margins. Well, Boozy on Margin, if you count the four and other like that. There's like Earthlings like Yamcha, other ones of the Dell, characters like that. They probably have their own God transformation, but talk about how it's possible. It's possible for the making God of destruction and the making prophecy could exist then that, that's so powerful it might be strong enough to go toe to toe with a Super Saiyan God. Like think about it. He might be able to handle a Super Saiyan God with fifty percent or ten percent of his strength. Like think about it. Alright guys, I'm just trying this is my video on if there was a making God of destruction. And I hope you like it or not. I understand. I respect you, and hope you. I might hope you like it. There, it's not fan service. Just trying.